Hey guys, Kips here and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the long-awaited apartment tour of my New York, New York apartment. I hope you guys are okay and you've had a fantastic day so far. Now before I show you around the apartment, I've just got to say, technically tomorrow is my last day in New York. I'm flying back, uh, well, it's around about half nine in the evening, so I start my travels around about four in the afternoon, but I have to go into work tomorrow. So today I am packing up everything upheaving two months of you know just settling down in a place i'm just packing it all up and now and i'm sort of just you know getting ready to leave for tomorrow so it's a little bit messy in the apartment do forgive me about that i'm sorry but uh, you know hopefully it's not too bad and you can understand that this is just a nice little view out of my window i thought i'd use as a backdrop whilst i talk to you um yeah so I'm, I'm flying out tomorrow and yeah i'm actually really really upset to be leaving new york i've grown to love the city quite a bit and it feels like i'm leaving home for somewhere which is quite strange because i've only been here for two months but yeah it's a it's a strange strange feeling indeed i'm quite upset but i am looking forward to getting back to normality in the uk and well we shall see what happens from there on so ladies and gentlemen without further ado let's do the apartment tour let's start off ladies and gentlemen in the messiest room of the whole apartment that is the bedroom indeed where the magic happens no no magic happens in here just me sleeping snoring probably annoying my neighbors but this is the bedroom it's a very very comfy bed you can see over there I don't know why I went from the top or the bottom, from the sides. I don't know what what you prefer. <laughs> Jeez, um, that, that's just some laundry I need to fold up. So don't worry, that's just you know, unnecessary mess. There we have a bedside lamp, which, funnily enough, if we go up a little bit, yeah, there is no ceiling light. That is the only source of light in this room. But what's quite interesting is they added in this bloody wonky switch, which really annoys me every single day. It, it does nothing. It absolutely does nothing. So when I first got here, I was like, where the hell's all my light? Because that thing just didn't work. The, uh, the whole lamp was broken. I had to fix it myself. Uh, so yeah, whatever. Very, very strange. I don't know what they were thinking when they done this. As you can see, I'm packing. Don't mind the underwear there. And uh, what, what am I packing, Mr. Kipps? Well, we have here some some candy, some some yummy candy. We've got some Airheads, which are very nice. I've got some Sour Patch Kids there. We've got some M&Ms, a caramel, 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 caramel. Is that an old meme? I don't know. And uh, some pretzel ones. So they're not actually for me. They're for my work colleagues back in the UK for the Bristol and the Southampton office. So I'm going to be sending those. Well, obviously, I'll send the Southampton the Bristol ones. I'll give by hand. And then this little bag here is one of the guys which we've hired and I was over here training. He has gone and bought some, I don't know what they're called, chocolate rougalash, which is a Jewish croissant, croissant with chocolate in it. And um, he said they're very, very nice. So that's his gift to the to the offices as well. So I'm transporting that back. That's I'm really, really worried about squashing those. So um, they're, they're sort of in, in this area here. And then I have like a parcel underneath there, which is so... So protected, I hope it doesn't get burnt, uh, not burnt, what the fuck? Um, I hope it doesn't get damaged because that's for my work colleague's girlfriend, which I'm bringing back and I just don't want to damage it at all. So the, that and that over there is the most important things for me. But anyway, this is the bedroom. Uh, we have ourselves a TV, nice TV. It's actually quite nice having a TV in the room. I have a TV back at my uh, apartment in Bristol, but I don't actually use it. Pokemon cards, yes, I, I know guys. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. A, a, a plant which looks like it's dying, but it's not dying. It's just a fake plant which is meant to look like it's dying. I don't get it. Oh? Uh, God, my hair looks terrible today. Please forgive me. The aircon unit, which I'm keeping on, it's hot like fuck today. So I'm sorry if you can hear the aircon unit, but it's it has to be on. And this is the view outside, guys. Uh, so this is... Don't mind the car park, but I'm going to give you a little bit of a skyline tour here. Um, so first things first, let's actually go into what is this car park. So this building over, let's get a good view, there we go. This building over here uh, is actually the Newport Shopping Mall. It's a mall, or as we like to call them in the UK, shopping centres. Or if you're like a 15 year old kid, you call them a shopping mall because you know no better in the UK. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that's the shopping centre there, or whatever you want to call it. 
and behind it we have Chase Bank is there. Then we've got another bank, I think, there. And I don't know what the rest of these buildings are, but behind that is a river. I don't, I don't know my rivers in New York. Is that the Hudson? That could be the Hudson River. I'm not sure. And then behind that is actually Manhattan. So technically, I'm not living in Manhattan, New York. I'm living in Jersey City, New Jersey. So call me a fraud, whatever. Let's do some of the skyline back here here so i don't know many of the buildings back there but i'm going to name some off which you would have heard of you've got the rockefeller tower you've got times square you've got broadway you've got uh, the empire state building you have eh, something else i i know there's something else over there which is important but uh yes yeah, so that's that's over there that's classed as mid manhattan and then if you come behind 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 and we go over to this direction you can see these are basically um all brand new apartment buildings they're building here so jersey city is actually a really really up and coming area and if i was to live like move here i would buy somewhere in jersey city because it's really really nice and quiet it's good prices compared to manhattan and uh yeah in general it's just a nice area but anyway behind uh this building here you can see there's a really really tall building with what looks to be a toothpick on top hopefully you can see that so that's technically the freedom no the one cent the one trade fuck what's it called one trade freedom tower thing i don't know what it's called directly i, I know there's a lot of ones and freedoms in there it's like the one world trade or something i don't know right next to that is the, the where the two towers were um the you know the two trade centers so that's another building and it's technically with the spire on top of it it's technically the tallest building in new york without the spire it's not and i've been to the top of it and you can feel the sway of the building it's not nice but um yeah so that's basically the building and this is low class is lower manhattan and you have your wall streets there my office is like five minutes from this uh, the toothpick building which i can't remember the name from uh, so i'm always constantly going over here you know, over the waterway via the underground path trains just to go to work every single day and come back so that is basically the skyline tour and it's yes yeah, it's quite a nice little view indeed so there we have it guys that is the bedroom it has a purpose for me to sleep it's nice and quiet and the, in the uh, the bed it's just very comfy so overall it has a purpose it's not the greatest bedroom guys remember this is an airbnb pretty cool thing though is uh, in here we have a walk-in closet wardrobe whatever you want to call it from a country of origin and uh, some spare stuff here a tongue of hangers tongue a tongue a ton uh, we have a hoover there which is actually a really really good hoover i saw that thing i was like wow that thing's tiny is actually really, really good a random cot if you want to store your son in here overnight not actually care about them yeah very strange um so that's you know pretty cool and overall a nice bedroom now if we go into the living room this is my least favorite part of the whole apartment just because it has no class no character and it's all ikea so yeah ikea showroom we have got some nice stuff that home sweet home we have a tv here which i think it's 47 ronin with keanu reeves from cyberpunk that game looks absolutely amazing is it 47 ronin i don't know i think it is some number of ronin uh there we go and then we've got ourselves the view outside we've got a nice lamp another aircon unit there it's currently turned off just so it's a little bit quieter to record a sofa mattress bed why have i just called it a sofa mattress bed? a sofa bed um i've been told it's comfortable obviously i haven't slept in it myself uh the sofa part is very very uncomfortable though it's very hard here and here and overall it's just not a very comfortable sofa i i wouldn't recommend at all but th this is the living room like i said it's it's my least favorite there's just no character to it there's no homeliness but i guess it is an airbnb what do we expect over to the uh what should we call this the hub station uh yeah this is the main reason why i wasn't doing any youtube whilst here is because this is just, it's tiny it's a tiny little desk you have so much more room to do you know just a bigger table here but anyway this is where i sit uh not that often to be honest at the moment i've got it turned on because i'm obviously going to be editing this video uh we have some clothes here which i'm wearing to work tomorrow because i'm not wearing a shirt to work because i refuse to wear a shirt and have to travel Hello in the mirror, if you can see me back there. Ironing board. This is the ironing board, which I have ironed every single shirt, every single day for the past two months. <clears throat> it's not nice. Into the kitchen area, which is my favorite part of this whole apartment, uh, just because there is a ton of storage space. Look at that. Isn't that just amazing? 
I love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah, uh, we, we have a dishwasher here, a sink there. We got uh, the, a massive oven, the fridge freezer, which the freezer is a bit small, but the fridge is actually really, really nicely sized. We have a microwave above that. Ton of storage, storage and storage. And overall, that's the kitchen, guys. The only thing I wouldn't, you know, I would change is I would get rid of the coffee machine and this blender thing here because ugh, no one's really gonna be using that in an Airbnb, are they? I'm not going to go out and buy coffee pods for that thing. So I'll get rid of those and get rid of that stupid fucking kettle and get an actual proper, proper kettle in here. It takes like 10 minutes to heat water up and those sort of things on the hobs. They're rubbish. Just get, yeah, get a more economical one where you plug in, you press the button. Simple. Anyway, that is the kitchen. A very, very simple kitchen with a nice wooden flooring. And that's the view into the living room. Again, apologies for the mess. Into the bathroom we go. Before we do that, I shall show you. In here we have ourselves oh, the best bit, guys. I love these things. This That's the dryer. That's the washing machine. Uh, these are just so good because it, it, they're just huge. And they, they're really... Oh, I, I want them. I want them in the UK. Ours in the UK is generally a bit smaller, so it's a bit annoying. And then on this side here, we have ourselves another storage room, which is quite nice to have. Obviously, for me, I don't use it, but if you lived here, you'd be using it a bit more. You've got some, your towels and one random hanger in there. I don't know why. It's just a dumping ground for the owners, I assume. But... Yeah, I guess you could put some stuff in there, but because it's an Airbnb, you're not going to do anything, are you? Into the bathroom, and it's an okay bathroom, guys. You know, it's not the greatest. We have a nice, uh, nice stone floor there, which keeps it nice and cool. In here, we have a towel rack, which, uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. It's a bathroom, guys. <laughs> There's the toilet. Uh, we've got a mirror there. The only annoying thing about this bathroom is the shower head is really, really low down. It's around about, I would say, five foot maybe even under five foot from the ground floor so for me being quite tall i have to kneel down to wash my hair it's very very annoying indeed but yeah that, that's the bathroom guys it's like i said it's it's a bathroom what else can i show so there's, there is the apartment that is it um now to give a bit of an idea i think i i'm paying now judging this is an airbnb uh this is a cheaper airbnb than you know what you can get over in manhattan but this alone costs around about i think it was two thousand four hundred dollars a month uh maybe even more uh, i don't think that's including tax so i could be wrong so that's just a general idea of what you could get now if you rented somewhere you ain't gonna get much cheaper than what this would be if you rented somewhere you know you'd probably be paying around about 2200 for renting this in jersey city so there we go ladies and gentlemen that is the apartment tour i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you like the apartment uh this is my final video of being in new york i am going to go and finish packing i'm going to go enjoy the rest of my day enjoy the fourth of july happy independence day to everybody and overall that's it for me guys in new york so thank you very much Muchas gracias, amigos. I don't know why I've done that, but I've done that last video, so it's going to be a thing I'm going to be doing for the next three or four videos. Thank you very much. Until next time, keep on.